Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So we're up to number 10 now. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll make a start by adding some curly arrows. So if we have a look at what's going on in this step here, you can see that we've got the C double bond O changing to a C single bond O. There's a minus sign on that O there. And the OH group, this OH group has attached itself to that carbon. So that needs a curly arrow from the lone pair on the OH minus to that carbon. And to create the single bond here with the negative charge on, we need to repel a pair of electrons from the middle of the double bond. So it's the pi electron pair that would be repelled onto that O and that would generate this situation here. Moving on to step two now, so what's changed here? Well, the OH group is still there, so nothing's happening here. The O minus single bond of the carbon is now an C double bond O. So we're going to bring the pair of electrons in to reform that double bond. And the CL has gone, you can see the CL has gone. So obviously that's been sort of kicked out by heterolytic fission there. So we need a CL minus ion here. So the last little bit, what is the role of the OH minus ion in this mechanism? So if we have a look at what is it doing, it's donating a pair of electrons to this carbon. And so therefore it's acting as a nucleophile. 